Do you wonder how many times can I share the same URL on Pinterest? Is there a maximum number of times that I can share the same link to a blog post or product or say, for example, you make podcast episodes or videos on Pinterest? Like what is the maximum I can stretch one piece of content on Pinterest? So hey there, it's Natalie Bardo, your Pinterest coach here. And if you love Pinterest tips to help you slay your goals, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. So this has become a really big question on Pinterest ever since the emphasis has shifted to creating fresh pins and also since repinning and sharing pins over and over to group boards has become a dated and dangerous practice. You definitely don't want to do that. So if you're one of those creators that has a limited amount of blog posts, or maybe you have an e-commerce shop and you don't have that many products, how far can you really stretch that one URL? How many times can you share it to Pinterest? So I should first say that there is no official answer to this question. Pinterest has not stated how many times a single URL can be shared on Pinterest, they have, however, stipulated some best practices that you are definitely going to want to keep in mind. So, of course, we're going to err on the side of designing fresh pins and not repinning to start. So that means you can, of course, design multiple images or videos that link to the same piece of content. But when you do that, you're going to want to make sure that you space them out and that you wait at least seven days before sharing the same link again. If you have a very limited amount of links that you can share on Pinterest, sure, you might get away with sharing those pins more closely together, but I really encourage you, since the Pinterest spam blocker is really sensitive, you're definitely gonna wanna wait at least a week before sharing that same URL again. So the second rule you definitely wanna follow is diversifying your URLs. This is a best practice when it comes to Pinterest. Pinterest is all about sharing links and sharing different links. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do your best to create new content. So whether that's publishing weekly on your blog, Blog, whether you're creating new products every couple of weeks, or maybe you drop a new podcast episode or YouTube video that you want to share weekly or bi-weekly. New links are what's going to help your account to grow, especially if you want to try and pin more than once per day. So as mentioned, there's no hard rule when it comes to how many times you can share one link on Pinterest. You want to make sure that that link is not to your homepage or to the main page of your shop. Instead, you're linking to products, to blog posts, to podcast episodes, to category pages. You want to share those different links. So I would encourage you that in terms of what the limit is, you definitely don't want to share the same link more than around 15 times per year. So space out those pins. If it's an evergreen piece of content, share a link to it once every two weeks. If it's a seasonal piece of content, then share those links once per week while it's in season or leading up to that season. And then you can share links again next year. There's nothing wrong with creating multiple pins on Pinterest that share the same link. I do this all the time. And I've also found that this is a good practice because oftentimes when a piece of content takes off, it doesn't just take off with one pin. If you have multiple pins, it allows your content to take off with multiple pins at a time. And this is because pinners have different preferences. They like different images, certain images, or even certain angles of how you share your piece of content are going to be appealing to different users. So this way you take advantage of getting multiple clicks and not just the one click from the one users that maybe this one pin is appealing to. So here's a really great example of sharing 
the same URL multiple times. So Carly has this great post on Boise and we can see we've got all these different pins that have linked to this piece of content. These pins have been shared over the last few years. So we can see by creating multiple pins, we're increasing the odds of this piece of content taking off. So some pins don't do well, these are newer, but we can see, for example, this pin right here has had 268 clicks. Some of them don't have very many saves or clicks, but here's yet another pin with 137 clicks. So by designing multiple pins to the same URL, you're increasing the larger and overall amount of clicks and saves this piece of content can get on Pinterest. So that's why you should definitely share the same URL more than once. So you're ready to start sharing the same URL on Pinterest and you wanna make sure you don't get in trouble. So here are the best practices you definitely wanna closely follow when sharing the same URL. So number one, you wanna make sure that you change up the title and the description. Don't just copy and paste the same pin titles and pin descriptions over and over and over again when you're sharing the same pin. This can be one of the factors that triggers the spam blocker. So you're going to want to make sure that you at least tweak your pin descriptions and change up your titles if you're sharing multiple pins. If you need help with writing pin titles, you're definitely going to want to check out this video. I will link to it down below as well as a video on pin descriptions. I like to always change up the first couple of sentences in a pin description to match the new angle of the pin because it's not going to be exactly the same. And speaking of not making sure your pins are exactly the same, even if the URL is the same, the second thing you want to make sure is that you target a different long tail keyword. So when you're searching for keywords for your content, you'll see so many come up and they often have the same root keyword, but the longer tail keywords that are maybe four or five or even six words are targeting a slightly different audience, a slightly different need. So when you're creating multiple pins, I encourage you to focus on different long tail keywords. And that brings us to our third best practice. When you're designing your pin images that dominantly have text, which is common for blog posts or podcast pins, I encourage you to highlight a different long tail keyword on that pin. So don't just have the exact same pin over and over. You wanna change up the text that's on your image, just like you're doing for your pin titles and your pin descriptions. So for our fourth best practice for sharing the same URL, use different pin templates and change up the colors. So when we're sharing the same link over and over again, you don't wanna make it seem like you're doing that. You, of course, you wanna make it seem like you're creating so much fresh content on your site over and over again. But of course, that's not realistic. But by making sure you have multiple pin templates, this way it can make it seem like you're creating fresh content. So change up your templates, change up the colors. This is how you can stretch your content and keep sharing that same URL without getting in trouble. And speaking of sharing that same URL, you want to make sure that you save that pin to different boards. So oftentimes when you have a piece of content, it could fit nicely into multiple of your Pinterest boards. So be sure that when you're designing fresh pins to the same URL, sprinkle them across some of your best keyworded boards that are going to help your pin to perform. So if you need help coming up with Pinterest board names, you're definitely going to want to check out this video. I break down the best ways to come up with endless SEO optimized Pinterest boards. So that brings us to number six. You want to make sure you design multiple styles of pins. So we're not talking about pin templates. We're talking about making sure you're giving all the different types of pins that you can create a chance. So design standard pins in the standard 1000 by 1500 pixels, those vertical pins, but create some even longer ones too. You wanna make sure you're also making video pins. Video pins are really engaging. You can also try your hand at the carousel or showcase style pin. And of course, don't forget about idea pins. You just wanna make sure that when you're creating all these different types of pins, you're not crowding your standard pins, which is what's to get you the click. So don't just drop that standard pin followed up by an idea pin, space them out, make them look different, make them target slightly different keywords. 
That way you're getting all the clicks, but you're not cannibalizing the same audience or the exact same long tail keyword. So spread it out and start experimenting with all the different types of pins that you can design. And the last one is that you want to encourage others to save your pins. So instead of you just saving the same URL over and over, you want others to save your pins to their optimized boards. This is going to help your pins to rank in search results because your pins being saved by someone else to their boards is one of those positive signs that this is a great piece of content on Pinterest and it's going to help with engagement and Pinterest is going to share that pin with other people. So I encourage you to get into Tailwind communities if you haven't as yet. So that means when you create this beautiful pin, you're going to add it to your Tailwind communities and let other content creators share your pins to their boards. That's a great way for you to increase the amount of saves and engagement on your profile. So if you haven't signed up for Tailwind as yet, be sure to click the link down below to start your free account. You can belong to five Tailwind communities on a free plan. It's a great way for you to test it out and then you can upgrade if and when you're ready. So there you have it. I hope that answered your question as to how many times you can share the same URL on Pinterest. The final answer is that there is no answer, but I would encourage you at a maximum, you wanna limit yourself to around 15 pins per year. You can spread those out and space out those pins that link to the same URL. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stick around, you're gonna find this video helpful. So bye for now, and I'll see you in the next one.